Shamai Baub. Hello everyone, Jason Shepherd here from the Learn Welsh podcast and today, well, this is a special video just for you, for you members and I'm going to be singing and teaching you the Welsh National Anthem. Loads of you have asked me for this, you've said, Jason, I want to be able to sing it when I'm watching the Wales matches on the television or some of you are lucky to actually go to the actual matches and you want to be able to sing all the words along with the Welsh or the, the, the rest of the Welsh fans that are there. So, I'm going to teach you it today. I'll sing it through for you first, just so you can hear the tune again. Then I will go through the uh, translation for you, what it sounds like in English, and then we'll go through it line by line, word for word. And then right at the end, we'll sing it all together. Right, let's sing a few first. Now, a couple of years ago, I used to sing around Swansea, nursing homes mainly. I used to love singing. And I had some throat problems, which means I may not sing as well as I'd like on this, but we'll do our best and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy it. Right, here we go. My hen lad van had I, an unoily me. Glad bar the cantorion and wog yon ovri. I go roll ravel where glad gar where tramad. Trot rathed go chlasand I gwad. Glad, glad, ply joloi vim glad. Tramo and vir ir beer hof by O bathed ir hinyeth bar hyth. Anyway, let's go through this. I've made my own translation here, and the reason is I don't like the English translations. They translate gulad gulad as land, land, and it's much more than that. Anyway, so, first line. My hen lad van Hadai, the old country of my fathers. Van Hadai, my fathers, but they're trying to get that feeling of ancestors, people from the past. So, the old country of my fathers, an anoili me, is dear to me. Glad bailtha chantorion en wogion ovri, the country of poets, and singers of distinguished prestige. I gurol revelwer, her brave warriors, gulad garwer tramad, so patriotic, very patriotic, a tros rathid gochlasent I guad. For freedom, they spilled their blood. Now, gochlasent, it comes from goch cochli, which means to lose, but I think spilled sounds better there. They lost their blood. And we'd normally say guide for blood, but it has to rhyme with tramad, I guard. So that's why I'm saying it that way. Right, chorus. Gulad, gulad. Now, it means country or land, but when we're singing it, we're singing my country. This is how we're singing it. It translates as country, country, but we're singing my country, my country. Plaidiol oivim gulad. My su- supportive to my country. Tramor and vir ir beer hof by. Whilst the sea is a defensive wall to this pure beloved land. O bathed ir heniaith bar hai. May the language of our ancestors continue forever. But you've got there a pretty much word-for-word translation. I've had to add a couple of words in, just because it wouldn't scan in English otherwise. So I'll sing a line slowly, and then I'll go through that line word by word. My hen wlad van had I an anoili me. My hen wlad. It sounds like you're saying lard, as in cooking fat, but with a slight W in front of it. Lard. 
Wann had I? Wann? Rhymes with fun. Had I? Wann had I? An, an oil. Think of the oil bit almost like the word oil. It's very similar. An oil e me. My hain lad van had I an an oil e me. Next line. Gulad bair dha chantorion en wogion ovri. Gulad is gu and la together. Gulad bair is a by sound, a slight rolling r and a th. Bair dha. Bair dha. Bair dha. A. Chantorion. Let's break it up into syllables. Chan, with that slight ch sound from the back of your throat. Ch, ch, like in the word loch. Chan, tor, e, on. Chantorion. Enwogion. En, wog, e, on. Enwogion. O, vri. And you'll notice that the word vri, which is spelt F-R-I, sounds different to the F sound in English. An F in Welsh is always a V sound, and a double F is the more traditional F sound that we get in English. Gulad bair dha chantorion en wogion o vri. Here's the first part of the next line. Ai gurol ravelwir. Ai gurol gu rol. Ravelwir. Ra vel rhymes with fell. Wir. Ravelwir. Second part of the line. Gulad garwir tramad. Gulad garwir is a um, well, rather long word. Gulad gar, rhymes with car, wir. Gulad garwir tra, as in the beginning of the word travel. Tra. Then think of the word mad, M A D, and elongate that A. Mad. Mad. The full line would be I gurol revelwer gulad garwer tra mad. Last line of the verse Tros rathid gochlasant I guad. Tros. Sounds like the name Ross with a T. Tros. Rathid. 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 Gochlasant. Has a double L in the middle of it, which is lovely. So it's Goch, like the uh, artist Van Gogh, or Loch, that H sound, Goch, then an L sound straight after it. Gochlasant. Gochlasant. I. Quad. Guard. Guard. Tros rathid. Gochlasant. I guard. Now let's look at the lyrics for the chorus. Gulad. Gulad. Plied your loivim gulad. So the first two words are gulad again. So we know that one. Gulad, gulad. Plaidiol. 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 Oiv. Sounds like you're saying oi, followed by a V sound. Oiv. Oiv, im, im, gulad. Gulad, gulad, plaidiol 
Oivim Gulad. The next line. Tramor and Vir Ir Bir Hof Bai Tra It's like saying the word ta, but with a rolling R in the middle. Tra Tra More Think of the English word more, but with a rolling R. More An Vir. It's like saying the word via, but with that rolling R. Vir. Ear. So it's an E with a rolling R. Ear. Beer. Sounds like beer, but with a rolling R. Beer. Hof. Bai. Tramor and vir. Ear beer. Hof. Bai. And the last line is. O bathed ir henyaith bar hai. O. And then the word bathed. 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 Ir. That e with a rolling r. Ir. Henyaith. Henyaith. It's a yaith sound and a th. Yaith. Hen yaith, bar high. Just imagine there is a bar and it's high above you. Bar high. O bathed ir hen yaith bar high. So I have given you the pronunciations for the first verse and chorus, which is all you'll ever need if you sing the national anthem at a rugby match. Now I'm going to play the national anthem sung in a rugby match and I'll put the words and pronunciations up on the screen so you can sing along if you'd like. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's uh, lesson, found it useful, and I hope soon I'll hear that you've been singing with passion at the uh, Wales matches or watching them on TV with all the rest of the rugby fans. And I'll see you soon. Hoyle! Oh,